Scorpio. I'm getting a sense here. This is somebody's energy that's um, real controlling. Okay, somebody's trying to block something from being discovered or trying to block you from discovering something possibly the truth I'm trying to they're trying to hide the truth from you is what I'm hearing Distorted desire. Number 15. This could be somebody that... Um, distorted desire. Conscious desire rarely satisfied the unconscious need driving it. This person in this card almost looks like they're trying to um, get away from a situation. This person kind of looks worried in this card. I'm picking up like this toxic energy. This could be somebody with addictions, addictive patterns. Yes, secrets, Scorpios, the secrets. They want power, control. Go with the flow, letting go, cleansing, and receiving. There's so much pressure in this life of mine. I tried to fix myself by drinking more. They made themselves look really bad and they can't come back. I don't want you moving on to another person. They're pissed off because they can't tear you down or they were not able to tear you down. Something about a vehicle or a car. They're trying to move back in with you. I regret giving them your phone number now. I'm sorry. Okay, somebody's under a lot of pressure or feels pressured. The Emperor. Five of Wands reversed. This could be somebody in some kind of competition, competing. I strongly sense they're trying to put a lot of pressure on a masculine energy or a man. Nine of Pentacles. This could have something to do with the house, a home. I see a vehicle there in this car too in the background. 
Queen of Wands. This could be, I'm seeing somebody here that's um, independent, financially independent. Somebody's hair could be graying. Somebody likes to point out a lot of bad negative things about you to somebody to try to compete with you. They want the upper hand. Yeah, I keep hearing they want power and control. This could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Scorpio, death reversed, ten of coins reversed. Somebody's going back and forth trying to decide if they want to get rid of a home, put a house up for sale. They're at risk of going into foreclosure. I'm seeing something about they need to figure out how to make more money. There's a situation that's ending, a permanent change, but it seems like somebody's trying to fight it off. Keep some, I keep seeing something about a home. This could be financial issues going on too, or work issues. Something about a family drama. Prince of Pentacles reverse. Princess of Swords, Princess of Wands. This could be somebody that's watching you guys, you're communicating with. This person, I'm seeing this person getting a lot of readings done, uh, watching a lot, spying. They're watching a man and a woman a lot. Trying to get information on a man and a woman. Trying to figure out how to slow something down or slow somebody down. They're trying to get this emperor energy to be unstable or non, not committed to a queen of wands. The hierophant, yeah. You see how this person's watching? They're watching readings or something like that. Could be a Taurus. Prince of Cups reversed and Seven of Pentacles. This definitely could be a Scorpio. I see a Scorpion here. They keep playing in someone's energy or trying to do some kind of emotional manipulation, energetic manipulations. They are trying to make sure this emperor doesn't desire this queen of wands energy. They're trying to make sure he's not invested into her. This Queen of Wands, I feel like, is highly, highly focused on herself. Very independent, financially independent. I'm hearing something about focus on extracurricular activities. You're, okay, I'm hearing something about you're very smart and educated, whoever this Queen of Wands is. You guys could have your own house, own your own um, homes, properties. Have your own place. There's somebody else in this energy. Um, this could be a third party. Somebody that's trying to compete with you or recently was or some kind of argument. They watch readings on you guys so they can compete with you guys or steal your person. They're in total opposite energy of you. They are experiencing heavy financial loss. 
Yeah, they're at um, they're gonna be losing a home or something like that. I keep hearing. There's gonna be a loss. Something about they better get their act together. Wasting time, not changing. Okay, so much pressure. So I mean, somebody under pressure. What is this Ten of Coins reverse? Yeah, they need a change. They got to change. Someone's going to be moving. Okay, death reversed. They're in despair. Someone's in despair. What is this? Five of Wands. Misfortune. So they're going through misfortune or some kind of lax. This could be somebody that's trying to get you guys to experience the same thing or something similar that they're experiencing in their life. Yeah, letting go, cleansing, receiving. They're going to have to let go of something. They're going to have to compromise. Struggling to make ends meet. Yeah, somebody in this energy is living paycheck to paycheck. Commitment reverse. Somebody's no longer committed to something or someone. No longer bind it up. This could be the end of a contract. This could be a contract ending. Yeah, I'm hearing heavy stalking. Somebody's heavily stalking y'all. Okay, they're mainly focused on the money. They need the money. They need um, stability. Knight of Pentacles reverse. Overload. They're overloaded. Excessment, obligation, overwhelmed. They're financially overwhelmed, I feel like. They could be overwhelmed with their job, their work, responsibilities, duties, trying to take the easy way out. I'm hearing they need to increase their efforts. Knight of Cups reverse. Withdrawn. Somebody's withdrawn. You guys could have rejected this person or fell out of love with them. Awakening. You guys could have quit something. I'm seeing something with some cigarettes here too. This person could be experiencing a lot of headaches, migraines. I keep hearing something about heavy drinking. They're overindulging too much. Yeah, something about AAA meetings. They're trying to slow an emperor energy down. Show me this choice. Mars in seventh house. <laughs> False alarm. Um, I feel like they are wanting an emperor energy like to choose them. Or have them be the choice or the priority. I'm hearing something about a gold digger. They don't want him to want you anymore. Commitment reversed. This, um, for some of y'all, this could be somebody you divorced. 
Venus in Sag, ninth house, flirtation reverse. Yeah, I just feel like someone's not interested in this person anymore or ended a, a commitment. Somebody in this energy doesn't want to move or don't want to move on. This person is not spiritually enlightened. They don't know how to go focus on themselves for a second. They're too caught up in you guys or y'all's life. Obsessed with you guys' life. Trying to manipulate y'all's life. Yeah, heavy. This person's a control freak. They could have OCD. Okay, I'm hearing they're a master manipulator. They're constantly trying to figure out what you guys are doing. Okay, show me this despair. Indecision. And inspiration. Extremism is trying to pop out. Okay, Mercury and Pisces, Mercury and Scorpio. Indecision, Venus and Libra. Yeah, they want you to be confused. They could definitely be doing something behind the scenes to have you confused. You could be dealing with somebody that's more angelic. And this other person is like more um, dark or depressive type of person. Not very, not very spiritual. They're doing a lot of stuff behind the scenes, I feel like, to play on somebody's um, psyche or their mind. Reverse psychology is what I keep hearing. Tell you that you're indecisive or confused. Because there's something in their life they don't want to lay to rest. Possibly something with the home, a house. Okay, somebody was cheated on in this energy. What is the Seven of Pentacles? Fourth house. Um, Cancer energy and Leo energy. Fifth house. Um, this could be a pregnancy involved. Somebody's invested in something else. Possibly another family dynamic. This could be for relatives too. Yeah, all their stress is going into um, with the, whatever this ten of coins reversed is. I feel like it's financial lacks, financial, a lot of financial stress or stress over a home. Something about borrowing money. You stop letting them borrow money. This person's always tired. Okay, what is this Emperor Energy Choice? Judgment, yeah. Somebody's under judgment. Somebody's seeing the truth. This could be a Scorpio Energy. This Emperor Energy is awakening or seeing things for what it is. They've already discovered something. But, um, discovery. Somebody in this energy doesn't want you to discover what you already discovered or know. You've already realized something. This could be the um, like a final decision you're having to make regards to something. Choice, yeah. Whoever this emperor is already made a choice, I feel like. World reverse, yeah. Some cycle is about to close out. It's about to close out. It's about to end. Okay. Knight of Pentacles, Reverse, Overload, Overwhelmed, Obligations, Two of Cups, yeah, they're like in the Ten of Wands regards to two people, possibly a couple. The Hanged Man, and Four of Swords, this could be a Pisces.
nine of swords reverse yeah this person wants you stressed in over them or their their um their burdens or their um obligations their bills possibly or something about a home but you're not This person's waiting for you to return or something like that or go back to them. They're all in their head stressing. Six of Cups. Yeah, someone's waiting for you to return. Three of Wands, four of Wands reversed. Some past person, whoever this is that's real toxic is waiting for you to return some of you guys they're trying to get you to return to a hometown the sun six of cups you guys could have found something out about a child somebody's already enlightened with regards to something this could be somebody um, that lives far away at a distance too yeah somebody's not going to be supporting whoever this is in their home and helping to support them they could be trying to get you to help support some kids or a child. Yeah, I'm getting a sense with this energy. They've been doing this for a long time. The same kind of stuff over and over. Trying to get some kind of finances from you. Commitment reversed. Four of Cups. They need to move on. You could be rejecting this person. It just, this person doesn't have much love in their life. They keep trying to cause distractions away from something in your guys' life. They're trying to distract you from something. You're not committed to that. You're not interested. Seven of Wands reversed. Yeah, some of you guys, they're trying to get somebody to quit their job. Okay, I'm hearing she doesn't want him doing nothing. She don't want him being ambitious, driven to do nothing. She wants him, like, um, lazy or something like that. Okay, uh, flirtation reverse, ninth house. Hanged man reverse. Yeah, they want you to be fearful. They keep playing in somebody's energy over and over on a regular basis. It could be a um, cancer, Pisces. They think you're not enlightened on something, but you are. You already know some kind of secrets or what's going on secretly behind the scenes. Some kind of deception. This could be lies that they're trying to hide. Somebody doesn't want to move. They don't want to move or something like that. Yeah. They are magician reverse, hermit reverse. You could be um, ghost with this person, not talking to them. Here's something about a blessing in disguise. Good thing you stopped talking to them. Because they keep trying to manipulate you or trick you somehow. They just constantly, with this moon and magician, reverse. They're just constantly doing magic over and over and over. Somebody's committed to somebody else. That's what I'm seeing. Invested into somebody else or planning a future with somebody else or waiting to plan a future with somebody else. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, withdraw. They want you to think it's not them, but it is them. They want you to think like there's somebody else is doing all this kind of wicked stuff on you. Whoever you're invested into or some love interest, they want you to think that person's doing some kind of um, dark demonic stuff on you. But you already know it's not. Seven of Pentacles, yeah. Whatever you're invested into, they want you to, like, give up on that, quit on that. 
yeah, it's some karmic feminine. They keep trying to hide what they're doing. Um, Queen of Wands reversed. Hermit reversed. Five of Cups. They're sad and stuff because you've been distant MIA. They could be trying to affect somebody's health also. Or their job, their work. It's like this person's obsessed with constantly trying to start problems. This person's a snake. Ten of coins reversed. Yeah, there's going to be a loss. They're going to take a loss. Not you or not y'all guys. They're taking losses. I keep seeing somebody about to lose a house. The Hanged Man, Will of Fortune, The Tower, Devil Reverse, Page of Pentacles. This person's heavily in denial, I'm sensing. They can't believe like they have to take losses, not you guys. They feel like it's not fair. You're having positive changes. Some of y'all may be moving yourself too. Upgrading your lifestyle or some new opportunities, new work opportunities, maybe moving for a job. Y'all are getting ready. Y'all are getting um, rid of this d devil energy. Yes, yeah, somebody's getting ready to move or something. Spirits, let me know. I'm hearing something about you all are moving. They're jealous. They're, they're going to be jealous of your new lifestyles that I'm hearing. They keep trying to cause disruptions on your life. They want you to think like they're better than you. Whoever that karmic feminine energy is. Okay, show me this tower. Save the children. Y'all yeah, was getting ready to say with this page of pentacles, there could be children I was sensing. Save the children. So something about children. God works in mysterious ways. It's only going to open up another can of worms. This person could be trying to um, get in contact with you guys and you guys just don't feel like going through it again with them. And let's do one more. I'm going to move to the next energy. So they're under a lot of pressure and stress and they're trying to have somebody else in this energy deal with all that. Okay, something about Christmas. It could be something about foster adoption. Take responsibility for your own happiness. They are going crazy. Yeah, they're going crazy over you guys. 